who is sitting here right now today? This is the real me, obviously. But um, I'm going to go kind of, I'm, I'm a very philosophical person. And I'm going to go there with you real quick. I believe in a higher power. Don't know the name. Don't know where it's coming from. Don't know anything like that. But I believe that this power, and visualize me real quick. Let's say it's a man up there or a woman, whatever. And they have a chart. And when you're born, they say David Goggins. Born February 17th, 1975 at 6 a.m. They write the chart down because they can see everything. They know exactly what you're so fucking supposed to be. They know what you're supposed to be. You die, you go to so-called heaven. You arrive at heaven, I'm 300 pounds. I retired as an Ecolab guy, which is okay. It's just a job, whatever. I go up there and God looks at me and he shows me my chart. And my chart on there says you were supposed to be a Navy SEAL. You're supposed to weigh 185 pounds. You're supposed to be one of the smartest people on the planet, this, this, all this. You see this. And now you're in heaven, you made it to heaven, but you're like, God, Doug, I was supposed to live that life. I was supposed to live that life. And then you find out that the reason why, because we all think that if we pray on it, if we do this, if we do that, whatever, if we don't work, we just, whatever, it's going to magically happen for us. No, I believe that when I'm all said and done with, my whole job is to outwork the chart. Whatever the fucking chart says about me, the all-knowing power up there, I want to get up there and say, him, look at me and say, I know everything. I didn't fucking see this. <laughs> I didn't fucking see this. I want to feel that. I want to get to the other end of this fucking world. And however I'm being judged, whoever's judging me to look at me and say, I did not fucking know. I, I had you at 185, I had you at this, but all this other shit I was riding as you were living it. I want to, I want to find more, all I can. And in that fucking sack of shit, you have to dive in that to find more. Because if you're not willing to go in there and face yourself, you're not gonna find anything. You're gonna live right here on surface, man, right here on surface. So if there is an ending to this world and there is somewhere to go and there's a judgment, you're gonna get there and you might see a chart and that chart may tell you who the fuck you should have been. And now you get the rest of your life to think about that. Man, I could have lived a much better life if I just would have just suffered a little bit more. If I just would have went in that shit and realized I had so much more. But fear and the 40% and living here versus living here, being afraid, stop me. So that's, I, I'm a big guy in visualizing. I'm a, I'm a big guy in making a world. It may not exist. To me, it does. To me, it does. And I'm, I'm overpowering myself every day. And you got to find tools to do that. That's the tool that I use. So that's what it's all about.